Hi, hello guys, it's me again, Maria. And today I will be showing you how to create a single outline for your images and a multiple outline for your images that you want to use for your YouTube thumbnails or any of your projects. But before we jump into that tutorial, I want to make a shout out to Sierra and Sophia for their comments and it says thank you so much this video came right on time i was just trying to figure out how to do this clicking around and this will make my video so much better thank you so much oh thank you so much yara and sophia and i'm very happy that uh my videos uh can help you to find out how you can make your video much better also. Thank you so much. And yes, yeah, so without any further ado, let's jump into my computer. All right, so now here guys, we're on Canva and once you log into your Canva account, let's do some presentation and I'm using this blank template. So from here, you're going to your uploads and then uh, upload the picture that you want to put an outline of. On it okay so like for example I'm gonna create this picture of me and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you to see guys I'm going to erase the background so that you can easily see how the outline goes okay to erase the background click that and edit image okay so from here you see the background remover so you're gonna click that and it will remove the background. So if you are using a Canva Pro account, you can use these tools as a background remover, but if you're using a free account, I think you don't have these uh, tools to use to remove the background, but you can also get to remove your background to some other software. All right, so now here we go, and this is me, and then I'm going to make another one so that you can see the difference of a single uh, outline to a uh, multiple outline. So I'm going to place this one here and i think i'm going to lift it yeah so it looks like they facing each other all right so i'm going to remove the background of these two and we're going to start the single outline and then we're going to move on the uh, multiple outline okay so, all right, so now here is the image that we're going to use to create a single outline and a multiple outline okay so uh, before that I'm going to change uh, this um, white template uh, let's put a color so you can easily see guys how it looks like when you put an outline okay so now this is uh, I'm gonna use this one so let's start with a one outline to do that click the image and go to edit image All right so from here just scroll down and then you will see the shadows okay under the shadows click the glow click the glow one time and one more time okay you're gonna click that twice so that it gives you this size the transparency the blur and the color all right so now you see it is in a black color we're going to set the blur into zero and then set your transparency to 100 and then you want to change the color just click this one and then you can choose the color that you want for your outline right if you want a white okay let's say uh, let's do the white and if you want that white to make a little bit bigger you can do that to just play with it and if you're okay with that then you can just apply it okay so this is the one way or the single outline for your image if you want to put a single outline right so now once you have okay with this we're going to click the apply so once you click the apply you cannot change it so if you want to change again you have to re-upload again the image and then go to edit the image and then go to the shadow uh, effect all right since we've done with this now let's go to this one okay this one we're going to make a multiple outline for your image now to do that you're going to do the same process just click this one edit the image and then scroll down to find the shadows all right so here is shadows let's click the glow shadow click the double click so it gives you the size the transparency and the blur and the color okay so now here we're going to set this blur to zero we're going to set the transparency to 100 and then we're going to adjust the size of your outline as you see it is black so i'm going to change the color let's say let's do the pink 
and then let's uh, adjust the size for a bit so once you've got we're done with this you're okay with this I'm going to click the apply all right so now it's already here the one outline just one outline no to do another outline you have to do it again you cannot do two outlines three outlines at the same time while you're creating uh, your first outline so you're gonna click this one again go to edit image scroll down here the shadows let's click that and now we're going to put another color on top of this first outline all right so click this glow price and then now here we're going to uh, choose the color that you want okay so let's say you want uh, you want a yellow okay so now we're going to size the yellow over there you see the yellow it's coming up so it's all up to you guys I'm gonna set this to zero I'm gonna set the transparency to 100 and then I'm going to just keep on you know adjusting the size whenever you want okay so now we have a second color we have the first one and then this is the second one okay so if you want to add another color again all but you have to do is to apply this one first because we, you cannot add another color until you you apply the second one so we're gonna apply this one and then there you go so as you see here guys we have two colors here and this is the single outline and we have the double outline so if you want to make a triple quadruple or four five six outline it's all up to you but I'm just showing you guys that every time you add an outline you have to finish first the first outline the second outline and the third outline okay so this is the last and let's like say I'm gonna put another color for this go to shadows double click set into blur transparency 100 and then you're gonna make a size let's say you want a black and just you know keep on uh, sliding this one whatever you want and if you want to stop you can just stop it okay let's see oh, I think I think this is fine so as you see you have the green you have the red and you have the black and if you're good with that you cannot change the color once you apply it just click the apply and then now here you go okay so this is the single outline and this is the uh, multiple outline for your images that if if you want to use for your YouTube time thumbnails you can do it in Canva in these two ways so that's all for today guys so I hope this helps you to create an outline for your images for your uh, projects and if you have any questions please write down on the comment and uh, I will give you a shout out on my next video for the comment and thank you so much I hope this helped then see you next time Bye.